with today's video, I have some fun stuff from Born Pretty. They sent me over some products to test out and some of them I've never used before from their brand. So I am excited to get into them. Here they are. I got five things and let's start with... This is called Moonlight Cat Gel, the cat eye gel. And it is a 10 milliliter bottle. This, when I looked at it on the picture, it looks so, so pretty. Can't wait to see how it looks. So let's see. is like pretty dark silver in color. So you can see Let me just move these out of the way. So the focus is all on this. So this is really pretty. Let's see how this looks using our magnet. Very, very pretty. what that looks like and now I'm gonna put a base color underneath I'm just gonna cure it first so I don't mess anything up okay I'm gonna go in quickly with some black underneath really get this popping so now that it has the black you can obviously see it much much better that is very pretty I love how it's like a solid so gorgeous. Now I have the super top coat. I did have this and I basically used all of it. That's why I wanted to get another one. So it's really good. Nice and shiny. 10 milliliters again in a nice glass bottle. So I'm just going to top coat this. Next, this is something I never tried from them, which is their peel off base coat. So I do think this is something that needs to be cured. And again, it's 10 milliliters, nice glass bottle. Well, this is very thick. Look at that. Really, really thick. It's almost like a builder gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this on. And then we'll do a color over it. See how easy it peels off. Super, super thick stuff. Okay, cool. I'm gonna cure that for 60. Okay. So this is their non-stick extension gel, but this one glows in the dark. And I never tried this one. I have tried their normal ones. And I like them a lot, so I figured to have this glowing in the dark would be really cool for a lot of different purposes. So 
that's why I chose this. I can't tell if this is just the imprint of the cap. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so that's the glow in the dark one. This one is their Aurora non-stick one, which looked really gorgeous. This is 15 milliliters, so they give you a really good amount. I just thought having a glow in the dark and the Aurora in this nonstick gel, you know, for sculpting, for a million things, I just thought it would really come in handy. So let's get some of this. That is so, so pretty. I think I'll put this on the peel off base coat. So we can test that out and do like some uh, little tip action. I'm just kind of doing like anything so we can see, you know, the dimensions. That's how that cured up. But once we put that shiny top coat, you're really going to see how pretty it is. I can't remember what color glow this is. It might be like a green one. In the lamp, you can see that it has a green glow. So there they are, all top coated. That Aurora is so pretty. Focus. Okay, so now I wanna test the peel off base coat. might be easier if I take it off of this. Okay. So what isn't good is that I overlapped a little bit. And that could definitely get in the way of peeling this off. So you want to try not to do that. But as you can see, this just slid right under and it's coming off really good nice that was a nice easy clean removal very cool okay, so I want to take some of this Aurora and I want to spread this on the nail as evenly as I can This stuff is so easy to work with. So now I'm just gonna take a silicone tool and I'm just gonna create a whole bunch of different angles and, you know, mix and all that because I want this to look like the ice nail. So I'm just gonna go in all different directions, bunch it up without bunching it too much.
Give it that face look. It looks so pretty. If you take the silicone tool and kind of just like push into it, it also helps create, you know, the shapes that make it look like ice a bit more. I don't want to go too crazy though. Like I don't want it to be bumpy looking and all that. So I think I'm just going to cure this. Yeah, like that. I'm just going to give it a top coat with the super top coat. Try to get in all the creases. So they get a nice shine everywhere. Now using the cat eye, I just want to focus this at the tip. I'm going to come in with my magnet. With this one, I just want to create a real nice glow at the bottom. So now I want to go in with the Aurora again at the top. I'm just going to go in and create all the lines all over each other. But I want to try to keep this smile line shape as best I can. Now that I have the lines, I'm gonna go in and push it like I did before so we get some more dimension and break up these lines a bit. So I don't necessarily want to be able to see the lines, the round smile line. That doesn't really go with the whole icicle feel. So just gonna bring that to a point. And with this nail, I'm just going to take the uh, glow in the dark and I'm gonna put it underneath in the tip. Bring it up more. So I'm gonna drag this pretty thin towards the top to give it like Kind of an ombre, kind of a fade with the glow. Because I want it to be more focused at the bottom. For the charms and stuff, I am going to focus on green and gold because this does have a green hint to it. So I'm going to take Born Pretty's Nail Tip Gel because this is nice and thick and in my opinion, can also be used as a rhinestone gel. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some and I'm going to start with this middle nail. And I want to put just a bit down there. I'm gonna go in and put some bling on these things. So here's how they turned out. 
This was my first Christmas nail set and I'm very happy with it. It's also the first time I tried the whole icicle look. I really, really love these products. Big thank you to Born Pretty for sending me these to try out. They were amazing. Um, I also showed these glowing, of course. And yeah, just really great products. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.